Hi, this is Kevin with Micromeasurements. What I'm showing here are hybrid sensors. Uh, these are devices that are produced by Micromeasurements, and these take the work out of installing the strain gauge. They would allow our customer or user uh, to add measurement capability to their product without all the labor and quality concerns of actually doing the gauge bonding in-house. These are uh, produced from thin metal shims. This can be steel or stainless steel alloys, anything that's a good spring element. And the strain gauges can be anything in the micromeasurements line, uh, including the micromeasurements advanced sensor strain gauges. So each one of these is uh, custom designed to a customer's requirements. And once installed in a product, they could be used to measure any engineering unit that would result in the flexure of the hybrid sensor beam. So this could be force, pressure, displacement, and the out or strain. The, the output uh, can be used for many different pur purposes, either to display the measurement or for control applications, as we'll illustrate here. For a control application, a demonstration of that, we have devised a uh, device that does motor control. So here I have the very same hybrid sensor and this is bolted onto uh, some blocks here to allow us to load it by squeezing. The output of the hybrid sensor is going into this small amplifier, also designed and manufactured by Micromeasurements. The amplifier provides excitation voltage to the Wheatstone bridge, and the output is in the zero to five volt range. The output of the amplifier is an input to an Arduino. In this case, we're using the analog input of the Arduino, and the firmware is doing several things, one of which is controlling the servo motor such that the output of the servo is gonna be proportional to the displacement or force applied to the hybrid sensor. We've also indicated on the display here the amount of force applied in pounds force and the angle of the servo. So here's how it works. You displace the hybrid sensor and the output of the servo motor is proportional.